Okay, Captain's Log, it's 10th of July. I'm heading. I think I'm 10 minutes late for the daily super blitz. Let's join here. Daily super blitz arena. <clears throat> oh yeah, I should have done that move before. Just the kind of king. and C4 to try and get some key squares like D5 for the knight. Maybe B3 coming up with this bishop A2 threatens. Uh -huh. Right now there's knight C3. C1 potentially. Is there an easy way? Just Queen B3. Just picking up some material. To say the least. Quite a long time here. Yeah? <clears throat> Okay. I'm through the first round. I just need to uh, not forget about the clock here. Knight g5 for knight d5 might be interesting as a sort of hack attack attempt or even even here just I'm not just looking at h file maybe I'll take with the queen take with the queen just to get rid of black's h pawn <laughs> uh, yeah a bit speculative
this night. Yeah, there's not much attack at the moment, it seems. Too much tower games, I've got a problem, too much tower games. I think I'm going to learn the hard way. <laughs> accepting a draw is he okay there's a 93 oh there's that one oh this is it's a bit annoying <clears throat> that's something e5 square i must say <clears throat> in the circumstance Knight F6. I'll just take this guy. <gasps> uh oh, that that wasn't helpful. Mm, pretty gone. Gone, gone, gone. Yeah. Learning the hard way, not sacrifice. <laughs> <coughs> Now, silly, I don't know why, 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 why. For a moment there, I thought, hmm, interesting. C3 would have been interesting. Maybe there's still a chance. Um, well, that this might be interesting. Uh, okay, that's G file. Can't resist. Can I get the G file later? Or soon? D5 knight is aggressive anyway. <clears throat> Why not just... Can I just... Do this? I think this is okay actually uh, because catching up on the clock and this knight's massive let's keep that bishop so I've got knight e7 g5 would be interesting this and this 
saying a little trap <laughs> they took us mate otherwise I'm threatening the pawn it's not totally I hope it wasn't totally terrible I'm on this now okay um Knight e6, rook d7, f5, rook d7. Let's check. I wins the rook. And I'll take that. That's, that's, that's not that easy. Okay, 6, rook g 7 I go like this. is looking like very interesting probably there's a mate with although that's knights that knight is pinned at the moment okay I'm threatening mate does he move? No. <clears throat> Too much pressure, I think, on like that. <sighs> Try and break this bind. Uh, although, yeah, it's going to torture me now. Thanks. <clears throat> Is that knight C2? Not doing anything. <clears throat> mm. That might help my cause here. Yeah winning an exchange and going back to queen f6 in this exchange and that d5 king of the sky not to the d5 square not yet There's knight d4 on e4. I wonder about e4 and then knight yeah, and then this and that. Uh, um, So what's the concern here of the check? Is it that I'm not doing anything? Um, the back row is a bit weaker. Probably the back row is a bit weaker. Probably worth doing. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. so we, we could weaken d4. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a nice bishop on d4, I've got to say. In fact, I think king safety is an issue. Still, you know, queen g3. I was wondering if he had Queen G6, uh, maybe not. Oh, this night is a. E file. So I'm happy with that. If I can get my rooks quite quickly to the E file as D2. Now this this one's hanging. Hang on. Where's I F4? Yeah, that's a shame. It's not so rosy. And this one as well. And caught up on the clock though. Hmm. <clears throat> Salt F seven. Let me go back here. Yeah. I don't want this passport looks too dangerous. Safeguard that one. It's going to give me a center pawn or two and clock advantage. Drive the king back here. In fact, this looks pretty dangerous. 
because the, the rook is not in a position at the moment. Let's drive the king away from the docking square. Shaking. Go on. Try and terrorize. Yeah, I think he's in trouble because this is the Haldane attack. I think it's gone wrong. This this looks wrong. Um, <clears throat> although I got to prove that. Uh, I'm sure there's a way of proving this. Like this sort of maneuver, it looks killing. If I can hold the center, if the center doesn't crumble, this looks killing. In fact, even queen sack off the check, queen takes check, king f8. Mm, it's probably not needed. Just taking this. In fact, I want e5. If I get e5, just to dislodge the queen. If I get this e5, it's pretty juicy, but it's going to play e5. Oh no, it doesn't. I thought he had to play e5 with my king in the center. With my king in the center, I think e5 was needed. There's f7 check here. Well, it's just winning the queen anyway. Well, I could just a threatening mate. Yeah. <clears throat> Good so far. to draw um don't play for draws uh, although I might be regretting it mm. uh -huh. yeah I think I regret it already why don't I just accept the draw 2200 <laughs> oh, well, um, uh. oh that was that was really dumb say I fell to pieces there I was okay is that phone call interruption as well ah uh, you've got to be kidding I, I just, just lost the plot in about two seconds there and this is some sort of counterplay um I don't know He's also really quick. That's the annoying thing as well. He's really, really quick. Uh, I, I didn't need to crumble there. If I go to the second rank into the check, 
uh, just to restrict this king for a moment, then king c5 for rook d1. Just to, I don't want the king out and about. Maybe there's a little bit of counterplay because rook d2 with rook e1. H3 plan. Nope. Get these guys. There's three of them in a row. Maybe I'm back in the game a little bit. There is this one for rook g2. going to be a mouse race about. Can I go like over here? Oh, Rook H2. Maybe I need to go for a draw soon. Well, what is he doing? That's pretty drawish. Are we not having a draw? Let's have a draw. I'll turn the light on. <clears throat> hmm, isn't that F five? Because where's the bishop going? The pawns are slightly aggressive. Can I not get a Zugzwang here? Oh my god. We're not going to have a repetition, are we? Let's try and break a repetition thing. Oh, I can hold that pawn. It's, it's the wrong colour. I have to. It's it's kind of 
It's kind of the wrong colour. <laughs> I've just realised. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I, I would offer a draw. <laughs> but I, I, I was going to. Oh, this, this is a real killer. I had, I had the wrong colour bishop. I know, I know, I know. <sighs> but here's my punishment. I'm playing this 2544. Four. It doesn't need time odds. <clears throat> Is rook on d1 was what a stupid idiot is rook on d1 i could have just won just then i I'm just missed the win what an idiot oh his rook oh it was check what, what a total moron oh, i wasn't paying attention i didn't think he'd do something like that This is not necessarily totally um gone. Or is that maybe it is? Right, for draw. How's his king? Get out of here. Yeah, he, he blundered there. There was rook t1 check. Oh, I can't believe someone of that rating will play in such a way. <laughs> oh, he's, he's working as well. I wasn't looking out for just a rook being left in prees in a simple position. Oh, idiot. That could have helped decide the tournament. That's a good encounter. If I just took that. Mm. 
So we're left here. Oh, the bishop's hanging. Now this threatens the. Let's go for this. I think well, there's also a uh, queen f4 to think about. That looks pretty juicy to me. Th these squares look super juicy. Um, on d5, I think I'm taking, or am I? Maybe I'm just playing a check. Taking. I think I'm going to cancel so I can play this. And then. Oh. There's another angle to the. There's all sorts of angles going on here. <clears throat> For a start, I think there was knight takes f7. If king takes, and that's the snag maybe. What about just d7 to start off with? Then isn't there just knight takes g6? If the king went there. It doesn't seem plausible to do that. But he's done it. Hmm. This doesn't seem plausible at all. This whole thing is weird. Go for F7 or D8.
Fraction he had. Can I get a game, please? Can I have a game, please? Pay me a game. bishop takes for a start well there's also this other goody here uh, isn't there queen b7 which may do something um, this one might be interesting for queen b7 without rook b8 just getting rid of this offensive b8 I'm just wondering about this bishop e5 as well if there's any tactics on bishop f7 they need investigating but queen b7 this bishop is nearly like a problem bishop b5 c6 bishop c6 i think tail game tactic similar to this earlier where he played a weird bishop b6 This is actually nearly mating. Been going through some Tiles Best games recently. 95, 97. Some Tiles Best games. Knight. Well, this pawn seems super good. Thing is about the clock here. There's always rook c6. Maybe just just give him that save time. Simplify because I think I've got good position. Was it enough? Or was it needed? I've got these pawns to push anyway. Thirty seconds. Well, that can't be a good end game for black because I've got majorities on both sides. for a stalemate aren't I um, If only I'd taken him out. Oh, I suppose it wouldn't have slowed him that much. I don't think I should berserk him. This guy is oh, that's gonna spoil it. Berserk him. Mm. 
Let's get off this diagonal SAP. I'll take this. Try and weaken D4, play F5 and Queen B6. Just try and indirectly weaken uh, d4 and h4. Okay, I don't mind. Need some swift wins, ideally, <clears throat> with this twenty five hundred chasing me. Oh, gold, we're gonna have to play, aren't we? I don't think I should berserk him, guys. Sorry about this. I'm gonna have to spoil the, the hundred percent berserk rate. He's like two five six. They have to make exceptions. I think we're destined to be paired now. He's berserking me. Interesting. Because he really did blunder in that other game. So I was a bit surprised that he's berserking me. Interesting. But he's the one with the rating. an interesting decision mind you what am I doing with my pawns I'm just letting my pawns run away yeah I thought this was okay because I'm gonna get this one if he hasn't got an immediate entry point of course, he can try and create a pass pawn. Um, let's take the risk over here. He's got two connected pass pawns, or just one. I got a fast pawn here, just two steps away. This G for an F2. Also, my king's just near his queening. Let's take him down. Sorry, guys. Had to ruin my berserk rate, but. You know, when you got to take someone down, you got to take someone down. Yeah, you need every every little bit of help. <laughs> I have to take with the pawn because he's on C two, right? But he is giving me that light square bishop free of charge. There's also this check here. What is he going to do? This place is king? What is, what is this? Well, I shouldn't have done that. I should have played knight takes. 
Okay, I moved too quickly. He's moved too quickly. What is he doing? I'm just going to take her or take the rook. I am joining the party. <clears throat> I did have a regret, to be honest. One of my latter encounters with the IM, he only had about 12 seconds left. And it occurred to me when I horrifically blundered that why didn't I get the queens off? If someone's got 12 seconds left, you don't want to. You don't want to miscalculate a forcing move uh, when they've got the you know queens on, or when, when you've got tactical vulnerabilities. In fact, you know I think making the position as boring as possible is, is a good idea. Often, you know, if they've only got like twelve seconds left, yeah, make it as boring as possible. Because why would you want to risk going into like a mate in two or something, yeah, which is essentially I might as well have done. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. If, if if the opponent's only got twelve seconds left, why not make it like, you know, boring? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not saying I had a sleepless night over it. I just I just thought, hang on, there's, surely there's a lesson here that I'm. You know, I keep trying to play you know interesting chess, but sometimes if if the opponent's like going to run out of time. You know, just 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 make it boring. Make sure that even if you miss something with a horrific calculation, just make it boring. Yeah. I'm gonna play a4 here. I'm just gonna hack this a file down. Surely. There's too many resources in chess, you know. The way Serena Williams won, you know, there was no chance for the opponent because her serve was too good, yeah. But in chess, there's just too many. There's just too many resources in a chess game. It's like I don't know, you know. You've got to sometimes make it boring. Queen e8. I don't want to run out of time here. Um, can I, I don't know, can I do anything constructive in this position or not? Is there, is there nothing going on? Can I put this bishop here or something or not? No, knight d5, rook b4. Knight d5 hits e3 at least and, and shields f7. That might not be entirely terrible. It ticks two boxes. 
Ping e3, shielding f7. Although, yeah, it just doesn't they just do that? Knight e3, queen f7. Hmm. Let's try to hammer this king side a bit. Although c4 looks interesting. Right, there's the check for knight c3, which you didn't fall into. Now I'm in trouble. I could try and make it boring. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll use what I've said. Try and make it a little bit boring without the queens on. Can I survive without getting mated? Uh -uh. Mm, no. Big trouble. completely <clears throat> I needed that win but I did lose the plot completely <clears throat> how Dane attack Probably unsound, especially the way he's played it. Unfortunately, I think this is, looks like winning because it's knight d3 actually. Have I played a check though? I don't know. I shouldn't play this stuff. Because I won quickly in an earlier round, I thought I'd give it another punt. But I know, I'm just relying on this silly attack. Otherwise, the position is doomed, isn't it? I haven't got any of these guys really working that hard. I can take that one out of the equation. Is he going to help this knight? It's not doing anything anyway. Maybe knight e4. Wow, really? There's knight f6 immediately threatened. He's justified my rook. Knight f6 is immediately threatened. Queen h6? What is this queen h6?
Mm, beat me the last two times. This is a danger, man. Why didn't I take on E2? What is the matter with me? Why didn't I just take on E2, for God's sake? Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, that uh, happened. Maybe, maybe he's just blundered the rook anyway. Things are blundering at a rapid rate in this game, it seems. What is the, can I not just, I think I've got to take this guy. And there's a lot of blunders in this game. <laughs> oh, blimey. Oh, dear. Is it the weather or something? Really? Are you kidding me? No. Can he really do that? It's queen e6 if bishop takes. I want to be playing queen e6. These are pretty swift victories, man. Boys and girls, pretty swift victories. Now, I wouldn't recommend this style of chess generally. This is only for multi-round tournament style. You know, if you're on an individual game, you don't really have to be desperate to win a game as rapidly as possible. So please don't make the subtle mistake of thinking this is my style of play it's not it's specifically it's for a multi-round tournament and I think you've got to be aware of that bias if, if you switch between multi-round tournaments and individual games elsewhere because <clears throat> there's a lot of dangers with launching an h-file attack we've got a Benoni right I'll try and play it like Tal Tal was like the master Benoni I think he peaked the Benoni's popularity in 1960 it coincided that he not only became world champion, the modern Benoni popularity was at its peak. I'm hoping he would have played it like this. Can I do this for b5? Now, why doesn't that just lose a pawn with the bishop hanging? Is there a reason it doesn't lose a pawn, I wonder? But also, not only that, it weakens like these light squares as well. There's knight b4 and bishop d3. I do wonder about this position for white now. c4 might be an idea, or just taking on c3. This is protected. It looks fairly pleasant at the moment. It's just the clock situation. That's a nice protected pass pawn. That's a nice pin for b5. I'm going to get a mass of pawns if he's not careful. There's rook b4 if queen a4, just to stop the queen having so many squares. I did give him a pawn for nothing there. We try and get the queens off. We're rook to the seventh. I 
I think the clock situation is the most critical thing about this position because it looks so crushing uh, otherwise. He's getting my center pawn. Twenty nine seconds. Unfortunately, I can't see anything too crushing because I'm not really around his king. But I know that I've got to play kind of rapidly here, whatever happens. That helps probably. I'm be taking and c1, but it's going to be difficult to coordinate. What about just knight d3 coming up? Knight d3, 22 seconds. Try and unblockade with queen d1. That's bishop g7. I'll take this. starting to panic me because he was accelerating on his moves there <clears throat> I'll let him berserk me can I do this without getting mated what about just getting the queens off which is my previous theory about making things boring if the opponent hasn't got too much time you don't I think leaving the Queens on is is sometimes a bad idea that's knight e5 this is a pleasant enough position anyway knight c6 I'll move this I thought it was a pleasant enough position, I'm not sure. There is a nice pin situation. Let's break open the position here. Is he taking that? Yeah, that's an intriguing move. What about knight g4 for knight h6 potentially? I want to play c4 for knight h6 to try and. Isn't also that almost mating because of rook e8? I go for rook e8 here. I'll take this for a moment. He's not taking there, he could take on a2. Knight f6. Oh. Oh dear. I messed up big time. That crumbled. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! I've crashed down to earth. <laughs> I've crashed down to earth. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought I had a great position. I was just, I was enjoying the position. Yeah, I was enjoying it <laughs> too much. I was enjoying everything. The lead, you know, being in the lead. <sighs> oh dear! Oh dear! That was a crushing position. I'm sure I had a crushing position there. I've gone about exchange of queens. Ugh. Maybe I didn't need to exchange queens. Maybe I didn't need to blunder h6. Oh well.
There's rook c2 on a3. That looks like initially um, a problem, actually. <clears throat> Maybe Oh, I'm going to take and then this. Okay, so he can force a draw, but if I get a draw from this, it'll be a miracle, wouldn't it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's a downer again. Oh, my rook's hanging. Whoops. <laughs> my foot's gone off the accelerator, I'm afraid. Someone else is driving the car. I don't know. <laughs> Six minutes to go. be entirely terrible because I'm first to that C file <clears throat> okay he's on that night what do I do with that let's go back maybe there's rook d1 get a chance for c4 queen b2 queen e3 It's not having a pawn. Try and hold. For, mm, try and get an attack. Maybe there's also C4 for CD. F5 is also interesting for bishop d5 bishop f3 so he's won that pawn i guess and the queen's centered though if i go here away from the glare of his queen. So e6. e4. For queen e8, queen f8. I know you could take on f3, but you know, I think that's nearly okay. Q 
queen d8, golden draw or something. Unless he's mating me. I don't know. I'm hoping king h1 here. Queen f6, rook d8. That's mating there. Run the check first. Maybe rook c1, rook d2, king h1, rook c1. Rook c3. I could try rook, no hang on, there's queen d2. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Uh, so that period of recovery time after playing this guy. Uh, um. <laughs> um. Ah, oh, I think that's the end of my tournament. Uh, oh, god. Okay. Yeah, that was quite good today. I gained 128 rating points apparently with a performance rating of. Uh, oh, that doesn't show yet. Oh. 2488. I think that's one of my highest ever performances at three minute on this site. 2488. It's one of my highest for a three minute tournament with Berserking. Okay, yeah, comments or questions on YouTube. 